hello. God bless you. I pray that you're having a fantastic day. This is Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. And it's that time of the week again for me to invite you to join me tonight, either in person or online for Bible study. Listen, I'm excited about the things that are going on. Uh, I, I got the, I woke up the computer. <laughs> I'm excited about the things that are going on. Isn't it amazing uh, the things that are happening in this world today and even in the church world? I'm sure you, you've seen all of the back and forth and read some of the things. You probably read more than I have uh, about uh, 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 comments and different things that have come our way. Uh, for standing for simple ba uh, basement Bible truth, standing for Christianity. And my friends, I'm telling you, uh, the, the, little, uh, the little adage uh, that the truth is welcome in heaven, uh, I've added to that adage, that seems to be the only place where it's, where it's welcome, because in many cases, it's not welcomed in the hearts of men. But I want you to know, I'm more encouraged today to stand on God's truth and to preach the word of God and to teach it without apology, lovingly, but without apology uh, as never before, because we're living in the last days. Now, I want to tell you something. God loves you and the Lord is concerned about your situation. God is concerned about your health. God is concerned about your wealth. God is concerned about your family. And the Lord is concerned about your knowledge of him. He wants us to know him. He wants to communicate with us on a totally a higher plane. Uh, he's going to enhance your prayers. He's going to enhance your Bible study. He wants to visit you. The Holy Spirit is snugging up to you, my friends, right now as you watch this. And God, the Holy Ghost, spoke to me and said to remind the people, even while we're going through these uh, clashes and battles and what's, what's taking place, if you want to know, is we're in the midst of a tremendous cultural war. And it, not only is it a cultural war, but it is a cultural spiritual war. Not only is it a cultural spiritual war, but what you are watching, what you are seeing is a holy war. People who name the name of Christ disagreeing on God's truth, and yet the truth of God doesn't change. That which was true yesterday from God is true today. The Bible says Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. But with all of these things going on, I want you to know that God loves you. He's, he, he sees where you are. He's fixing that situation. I feel the Holy Spirit right now. He's fixing that situation for someone you're going through and, 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 and many of the things that you've heard, the things that you see online, doesn't have anything to do with your personal situation at all. Well, listen, when it doesn't have anything to do with your personal situation, always know this. If you fight God's battles, he will fight yours. If you speak up for the God of the Bible, the God of the Bible will speak up for you. Now, as I close, the words of my pastor, the late, great James Henry Turner, if there ever lived a greater preacher, I haven't met him. He used to tell us this. He says, if you take care of God's business, God will take care of yours. Son, young man, if you take care of the Lord's business, the Lord will take care of yours. You know, that's, that, is the, that is the foundation of the theme that God has given me for our entire ministry, God first. But seek ye first the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Put him first. And I want you to know that as you fight the Lord's battles, and you know, uh, God at times gives us different ways to fight. Sometimes he tells us to speak up. Sometimes he tells us to hold our peace. Sometimes he marches you out on the battlefield. Sometimes you march around the walls of Jericho. At other times, he says, send the singers out. Whatever the Lord instructs us to do, as long as it's God, and as long as it's scripture, and as long as we're coming down on the biblical side of things, whether they are political, religious, personal, 
financial, doesn't matter. You want to always be on the biblical side of things. So as long as we're on the biblical side of things, let me tell you something. Everything is going to be all right. <laughs> and that's whether we live or die. Amen. Whether, whether we see the manifestation of everything being all right on this side or not, I know that there is glory for the believer. I know that we're in the hands of the Lord. So I'm going to cut this short. You know, I've, I've gotten a little long with these promos. They become little mini sermons and sermonettes. And so I'm going to try to pull this, pull this back a little bit. And I want you to join me tonight. I want you to join me. You, you know where we are. We're right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And uh, those of us who join us online, we're on the same time, same station, same location. Everything is the same. And I want to thank you as I go off for all of the support, the text, uh, oh my God, the call. People have just, the phones have been ringing off the hook. So tell Bishop Wooden to keep preaching, keep standing on the word of God. Tell him we're praying for him. Tell him we're standing with him. I want you to know I've received those words of encouragement and they, my friends, have worked and they were necessary. No man is an island. No man stands alone. It's always good. I mean, we're prepared to fight if we have to fight alone, but isn't it better to have other born again, like-minded believers fighting with you? I love the battlefield. I love fighting for the Lord. I love standing for Jesus. Why do I love it? Why do you love it? I'll answer the question for both of us. Because he's worth it and he loves us. Oh, if we could love him like he loves us. Man, <laughs> that would be something. I got to go. I heard a preacher say this. I keep saying I got to go. You tell I'm a preacher. We, we give a summation several times before we wrap it up. But a preacher said this, and, I, and, uh, and it was just amazing. He said, uh, and it was an uh, 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 elder evangelist, Paul Dixon. He said, if I can love my Jesus the way that Jesus loves me, then I can call myself a lover. Think about that. If we could just love Jesus the way Jesus loves us, then my friends... <laughs> we could call ourselves a lover. I'll join you tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. <laughs> you got it. We're going to study the word of the Lord together. Thanks.